Waking up to news of torching incidents in schools is now the norm, even as stakeholders deliberate on interventions amid a hotline stance by government. Form 4 candidate at Witu, Siwiki Zingitini, Kiongwe and Uyoni Secondary Schools boycotted mock exams, prompting the school management to indefinitely close the schools. The students claim they were unprepared to sit for the examination. Meanwhile, Baringo High School in Baringo County and Garu Girls High School in Nyeri County are the latest to witness cases of fires. Property worth millions of shillings was reduced to ashes on Sunday night as buildings were raised down in both institutions. <laughs> In Mombasa County, more than eight students from St. Augustine Primary School in Tudor and their principal were treated for shock and minor injuries after a dormitory was raised down on Sunday night. Preliminary investigations by security agencies say the fire was caused by an electrical fault and ruled out arson. Last night, uh, an electrical fire uh, happened at the dormitory that usually has the standard sevens. Um, and we've just made an assessment of uh, what happened. Uh, we were informed at uh, 1 o'clock this morning that the fire was contained by the fire brigade services. Uh, Various reasons have been given for the arson attacks. The Kenya National Union of Teachers is bringing in a new twist, saying the current wave of school unrest is as a result of neglecting the boy child. Nat Chepkoilel Branch Executive Secretary Sami Bor is now urging government and other stakeholders to change the tact. Sentiments coming as a section of lawmakers from the North Rift call for the immediate deployment of security officers to schools. Members of Parliament, Mark Lomonol Cole, Samuel Moroto and James Lomenen say the move will ensure the school calendar is not disrupted by rowdy students. Bunge tutakaa chini, tuone njia mzuri, tuone sheria, itakayo tuwezesha tuwe na amani kwenye mashula setu, na hiyo tutafanya, tukisha consult, Ministry of Education na tuone yale mambo ambazo tunayasaleta amani kwa shule. But all that you want to say, if there is a problem, instead of burning a classroom, burn my tiangis, burn the menem. Linus Moshigadi for Channel 1 News.